Hey folks, Eastlands, also known as Audible Agent here. Um, I wanted to talk about this GG MRT. I just recently got this lock from Devo on LPU. It's a pretty cool lock and I just started playing around with it tonight, trying to see if I could learn anything. Um, I bought a audio pickup and uh, you know, it's one of these things wired into a little mic pickup so that you can listen to the sounds of this as you're picking it and in order to pick it as I understand it you know you need basically um, some magnets so this is an old sparrows hook that uh, was really bent and I just taped a couple tiny magnets on it and you need something like a tension wrench and the theory is that you're using this tension wrench to apply some pressure and you're using this to manipulate the magnets and you're listening um, trying to find the binder let off tension try to rotate um, the little rotors in here which are driven by magnets in the key and try to get them in the right clocked position and you know I was just messing around with this and not getting anywhere of course because I've never picked a magnet lock before but thought I'd maybe take a peek inside and just kind of see if I could learn something and you know it's pretty cool and I wanted to share what I was seeing so first of all um, this is the key it's uh, it's pretty cool you know it, it like flips out and um, my understanding is that there are four magnets arranged around the perimeter here and I think the poles I don't know this for sure but this is how I think it works I think the poles are aligned to a certain uh, compass direction um, and that interacts with rotors inside the lock to turn them to the same position and you know then the mechanism can sort of unlock and if we take a look at this lock you just see this slot so you know there's really nothing in there it's just a void and there's the the bolt here and if I show you how this works you basically just insert this and slide it back and that's all it is take the key out that bolt doesn't throw so let me show you what's going on on the inside at least as far as I've taken it apart and maybe this will help somebody too who is uh, um, wanting to play with this and and understand kind of how this goes together because um, it's pretty simple there are just these two bolts holding this bracket onto the back. And then if we flip this over, this piece here is the entire locking mechanism. And can't get it out right now, but you can use the key, of course, to free it up. So stick the key in slide it and then this will release and I'm going to hold my finger over the top here because there's a little plunger that is sort of the main part of this lock and how it prevents it from moving about so this little plunger is spring-loaded and there's a little recess inside here that either captures it or when the lock is unlocked and this is free to move down, it'll kind of slide with that and force this down out of the way. So let me turn on this light and show you something interesting. So if you pull this off, you get this piece, and that little peg sits inside a spring, and I don't know if you can make it out or not, but around the perimeter you've got four different rotors and you can see on this rotor here you can barely just see there's a little notch cut out of it a little pie piece and these other ones are not showing the pie piece because they're not in the right orientation but if you take the key and uh, there we go maybe just make out that all the pie pieces are facing in towards the center which allows this plunger to recess 
However, when I take it out, that can only go to there now. It doesn't fully recess. And that's because these little rotors in here have moved out of the way, or actually they are blocking the way now, and they will no longer let this plunger recess into this housing fully. And therefore, since this can't recess all the way, it can't, it can't go down enough to clear this little divot. And so the bolt can't be thrown. So I started playing around with my pick, again, just some magnets, and you can kind of see what's going on when people are picking these. It also kind of shows that you got to be very precise, I think, with these magnets to not affect adjacent rotors. And I don't know, this is just really cool. I thought I'd share this. I'm you know, not one to shy away from taking something apart and figuring out how it works. Um, but this was super interesting. And just in case somebody runs into trouble and is curious how you put this thing back together, it's really just the same process in reverse. Get that little plunger in the center of that spring. I'm going to need to use the key and get that plunger recessed all the way down. Now that that is held down, I'm going to squeeze it into this housing. There we go. That bit's working again. And now the key will work. So yeah, um, this is the GGMRT partially taken apart to analyze what's going on. Thought it was super cool. Um, thought it might be a good way for others to maybe learn how to pick these as well. Um, don't be afraid to explore. Um, I hope uh, somebody out there found this interesting. I certainly did. And it's a super cool lock. And I'm really looking forward to my EVA MCS, which works on a similar principle, but more rotors. So stay tuned for more picking videos or other lock related videos. Take care.